Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the tool the curve wrapping which is in the GSD in KTIV5. Curve wrapping is a tool which is used in the advanced surface feature and it is uh, one of the tools which is very much useful when you are working on advanced surfaces. So what you can see in front is a curve wrapped surface and the surface, the real surface was a revolved surface which you can see here and this is the curve which was used for the revolve and this was the axis and that particular curve is being, that particular surface was deformed to a particular curve which was created over here and now let me show you from the scratch how you can use that particular tool on the surface which you are working on your project go to start shape and generate shape design where I'm going to design the whole surfaces and OK to create a new drawing and now I'm going to create a normal surface, a normal revolved surface by selecting the XY plane click on the sketch and now create a curve which will be comfortable for you to revolve across so this is a simple curve and make sure your curve is not really passing on the y-axis of this because once you revolve it has to revolve in the exact axis now create another sketch so I'm gonna tell you why I have created another sketch over here I can even revolve this this particular curve without using the sketch which I'm creating here but this particular sketch is required for our uh, curve wrapping tool so that's why I create this now we have two curves over here now go for the revolve command here and select the first sketch as the profile and the second sketch as the revolution profile and make sure that you have 180 degrees on both of the angle spinners now we have our first surface now what we gotta, gotta do is create the next curvature to create the next curvature again go ahead and select the XY plane click on the sketch so the reason why I am uh, showing you how you can create these surfaces is because you can directly go ahead and create these surfaces and try this tool instead of uh, searching the surfaces for you to try it so now I'm gonna create a different curvature so this is the important part we have a different curvature here so this is the situation where we're gonna use this particular tool curve wrapping what it does is you can really deform selected surfaces according to the definition of curves so this this particular reference line and this curvature has different definitions so this surface is gonna deform according to this curvature definition which we have created now let's go ahead and select the curve wrap curve tool which is situated in the advanced surfaces if this particular tool is not available on your particular screen what you could do is right click over here and go and on this over here now let's just go ahead and see what are the parameters the main parameters that you gotta deal is one is the element to deform so the element to deform is the surface here and the curve the reference curve is the curve we have created as the axis and the target curve is what you could see over here now if I click on the preview you can see that the surface is being deformed according to the curve which I've put so that's really important when you are when you click on OK you can see that uh, the, the surface the pan surface is being transferred completely to the deformed completely to the new newly created curve so that's the working of uh, curve wrapping in the GSD in KTV5 so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope this tutorial is going to help you 
in your design careers and if you have any doubts on this comment below the video and you can also follow me on the blog that's www.cadmadeeasy.blogspot.com and if you have any CAD queries and CAD related projects you can write to me at ketsia.pro.user at gmail.com thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your, for all your supports that you have been giving me and uh, if you have any tutorial suggestions write to me and uh, I'll try to create a tutorial on that. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next tutorial.